tremendous meal. It really was really good. Yes. But there's what's known as confusion, uh, confusion of goods and merger or trademarks, uh, consumers mistaken belief about the origin of goods or services. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the likelihood of confusion test. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know if you were confused, but I was confused when I was posting those, um, those videos. Yeah. Mm. I was confused. I didn't know what you were doing. Did you want me to be confused or did you want the individuals that are going to that were going to watch them to be confused? Because quite often um, your intention is to confuse individuals. Yes. Now, you thought your your want was to make me look stupid, but the truth is you just want to confuse people. Yeah. And that's really a form of harassment. Hmm? Now, um there's, there's what's known as conditio. Oh, a condition. Uh -huh. A condition of future and certain event on which the existence or extent of an obligation or liability depends. <laughs> an uncertain act or event that triggers or negates a duty to render a promised performance. Yeah. Now, in contractual law, yes, uh, these conditions of contracts can be... Um, well, let's say a compulsory condition, a condition expressly requiring that a thing be done, uh -huh. such as a tenant's paying rent on a certain day. Oh, now you wouldn't think I'd have to pay the rent on a certain day because I'm on rental assistance. Yes, but for the landlord to wait till the end of the month, she would say, yes, I didn't pay the rent this month because nobody talked to me or her. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, these various conditions of the contractual obligations of the state of Washington. Well, I, I think that, that there is some, some obligation on the part of the state, yes, to enforce the actual conditions, yes, of what is said in protection orders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, look at here. Uh -huh. uh, the respondent will be allowed visitation as follows. Yes. Now, this is a condition, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I cannot have contact with my sons or my wife. Yes. Until there's a mental health evaluation of myself. Yes. And treatment if recommended. <laughs> but the concern is that this, mm -hmm, as a condition of me having to appear in court. Yes. And then the condition of the actual pr pr protected person signing this. Yes. <laughs> and then the condition of it being the actual, uh, the, the employee of the court. Yeah. <laughs> and then this idea that you don't have any conditions as a court. Well, it seems somewhat uh, discriminatory. Yes. <laughs> when you use a forgery. Yes. Of a court employee. Here. Let me help you understand. Let's say, uh-huh, this is an actual employee of the court. <clears throat> and let's say that this is not an employee of the court. Yes. Can you put any conditions on visitation? Well, you wrote in, uh-huh, the condition of me being able to speak to my five sons. Yeah. And uh, you did it uh -huh, utilizing a forgery of the ex-official superior court clerk. Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's say there's a signature as a condition uh, of the petitioner. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, I had uh, uploaded some documents. Yes. Mm -hmm. That explains contractual law. And for you to put a condition on my visitation rights. Yes. Uh, when you had used a forgery of a court officer. Yes. Um, actually negates this idea that I have to do anything to have the right of visitation. See, the conditions. Do you understand the necessary conditions? Contract law. You cannot use fraud or forgery to issue any contract. And a protection order is a contract. Yes. It's between the parties named. Yes. Now, does Heidi mm -hmm, have any knowledge how my name got changed? Yes. Or how the address yes, was changed from 2204 East McLaughlin Boulevard? Mm -hmm. And should I, as a respondent, uh -huh, 
have to fulfill any conditions when I have identified forgery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, there's there's a big problem with your use of forgery. Yes. And your use of fraud. Right. And then I inform you of the crime. Mm-hmm. And you say, well, we as a court, we can put conditions on the court order. What's that? Well, looks like there's some discrimination going on. Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Destroy. Mm -hmm. To damage something so thoroughly as to make it unusable, uh -huh. unrepairable, or non-existent. To ruin destroying evidence. To annihilate. Uh -huh. To take the life of the civilization was completely destroyed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To kill an animal by reason of mercy, illness, or dangerousness. Oh. To counteract, to nullify, Oops. the sun destroys the light of the stars in daytime. To show, to show to be false, uh, to disprove. Uh -huh. Now, uh, to render of no available, to neutralize. Mm -hmm. Let's say mm -hmm. I documented that you're intentionally trying to confuse myself. Yes. A class of persons known as the Facebook individuals that follow me, yeah. <laughs> that are my friends or I've wanted to friend and they haven't responded. <laughs> and they don't know the numeric system of the United States. <laughs> now, for me, it's a little easier than those in other nations. Yes. <laughs> Let's say you're Russian. <laughs> you don't use the numbers 1 to 10. No. <laughs> Let's say you're in the Middle East, you're Arabic. Oh, you don't use the numbers one to 10. See, you really are trying to destroy my ability to communicate with individuals throughout humanity. Yes. Now, when you're destroying something that doesn't belong to you, yes, you get sued Ouch. and you get sued for a hundred billion dollars. Okay. <laughs> now, destructibility. Mm -hmm. The capability of being destroyed by some action, turn of events, or operation of law. Yes. Destructible. Oh. Oh. They're trying to destroy right now. What if they just don't count that high? Now, I'm going to want to speak to my sons. Yes. And I'm not going to do mm -hmm, what your protection order says in that... I'm not going to get a mental health evaluation. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm not going to motion the court. Do you understand, Brent? Now, for the individual that was concerned about their server, yes. Let me guess. Um, the remote desktop uh, that had to get my password, yes. So that you could destroy my ability to communicate. Right. <laughs> Completely destruct my rights as an American citizen. Yes. It's probably a previous person that I worked with. Yes. And when I said blow up your server, what I meant was I just wanted to see if a billion people would enter in that password. Yes. Capital T-W-E-L-V-E-7-7. -E -E yeah. And then maybe they want to be named. I mean, I could send a dollar to each and every individual throughout the world that puts their password in. <laughs> I could name them as a class of individuals that does want to watch the videos. <laughs> Now, let's say I needed the addresses and the contact information. Well, you know, when you do one of these class action lawsuits, who is it that has the actual legal fees and costs of a lawsuit? Not me. It's the United States federal government. Now, do I care? Yes. If I have to send a $1 check yes, to approximately 2 billion individuals. Yes. But it costs the government 20 dollars a check yes, because you have to employ attorneys and you have postage costs and you have to research the IP address and have to get a physical address and you have to send them these forms they have to sign this and eventually it'll cost you 20 to 40 fucking billion dollars I don't care how much it costs <laughs> I don't have to pay court fees attorney fees <laughs> now maybe you want to understand right now Remove the fraud. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh.